to increase land supply for new developments, reclamation is commonly used in Hong Kong. The reclaimed land are normally protected by a typical sea wall against storm shots and rising sea levels. They are relatively low cost and effective. However, they do not provide habitat for marine ecology. Tong Chong East Development is a new development area close to the Hong Kong International Airport. For this project, 130 hectares of land will be formed. We will construct about 5 kilometers of sea walls with equal shoreline that will provide resilience to coastal flooding and also improve the ecological value. Although Hong Kong is a small and highly developed city, it still has a surprisingly diverse ecology. To enhance the seawall performance, we have made reference to the natural coastline found in the Tongchang area. These include mangroves, which are found in more sheltered estuarine coastal areas. Mangroves are highly productive ecosystems that support diverse communities of crabs, snails, fish and birds. They also provide other ecosystem services, such as water quality enhancement, supporting local fisheries, shoreline protection and carbon sequestration. We also make reference to rocky shorelines, which are found in more exposed locations that have higher wave action. Rocky shorelines support completely different ecological communities to mangrove habitats. One especially important feature of natural shorelines are rock pools that form naturally as the tide retreats. These provide refuges for all kinds of marine flora and fauna during low tide. So, using these two basic habitat types as a reference, we worked with our landscape architects and engineers to develop the eco shoreline design. These include mangrove eco shoreline that were designed to hold fine sediments that would support mangrove plants, as well as rocky eco shoreline designed to mimic more exposed shorelines. These were designed to include rock pools that are an important component of the natural habitat. As you all know, Coastal resilience is relatively new in Hong Kong and this eco shoreline approach is new to us as well. So we first test the designs at a site close to the project site, which you can see around us here. For the rocky eco shoreline, we involve casting and insulation of the bio blocks. This procedure was not easy, as quite a lot of precision was needed to place the block from a floating barge with the help from the divers. For mangrove eco shoreline, we ship in sediments and plant the young trees. This side child has allowed us to iron out some design issues, such as making sure the pools in the rocky eco shoreline are watertight and retain water, and which types of mangrove are suitable for planting in the project site. Of course, it helped checking the resilience of the design, that means whether it can withstand the large waves that occur during typhoons. This child site has been established for over a year and survived under numbers of typhoons. The trial also allowed us to assess the ecological performance of the design. We found that some of the mangrove species used in the trial performed better than others, and this informed the final design. The monitoring work has also recorded more than 40 species from both the mangrove and the rocky eco shoreline, which is more than double that record from the standard engineered shoreline. Given the increasing risks of flooding and erosion resulting from climate change, we hoped the EcoShoreLine project has shown how nature-based solutions can help providing climate resilience.